The liver is a cardinal part of the bodily system, but it sometimes doesn't work the way we want it to. In this video, we'll discuss liver cancer in dogs. The liver helps in filtration, detoxification, protein synthesis, digestion, and metabolism. Although it can regenerate itself and provide enzymes that help regulate system function, the liver may also experience a malfunction that can be troubling. Irregularly, liver cells rapidly multiply and lump together creating chemical imbalance and interference in the function of the liver and other functions. This will become a liver tumor. This condition may have a lower occurrence in terms of cancers in dogs, but it may exist. Hepatocellular carcinoma is the most common cause of liver cancer in dogs. Other liver cancer may be mesenchymal tumors, neuroendocrine tumors, and bile duct carcinoma. Hepatocellular tumors may include adenomas, apatomas, and carcinomas. Tumors in the liver may begin from the hepatocytes of the biliary epithelium. HCC is one of the most common types of primary liver cancer in dogs. Hepatocellular leakage enzymes may increase when liver metastasis occurs. This can help detection and damage to the liver. Hepatocellular adenoma is a type of solid benign tumor in the liver. It has a low rate to turn cancerous, so it may not be cancerous but it still may obstruct function for mid-size. Studies have found that although hepatocellular tumors often penetrate hepatic egress in channels and later in main venous channels, there were instances where there is widespread metastasis. HCC may be in different forms and symptoms may also vary with the size. Dogs who have liver tumors often do not show any symptoms until the tumor is huge enough to obstruct the function of the organ. Symptoms of HCC often depend on its location or organs affiliated, size and span. Owners should carefully observe their dogs to see if symptoms are present with their dog. Since hepatocellular carcinoma rarely shows early symptoms, owners should address these signs with their veterinarian to undergo diagnosis. Hepatocellular carcinoma may grow in large masses or diffuse state. This tumor can obstruct the function of the liver. Hepatocellular carcinoma causes remain unknown. Researchers and doctors are still observing cases to determine the definite causes, from genetically inherited cancers, chemically unbalanced hormones, a mutation in genes, prolonged exposure to radiation, and other underlying diseases. Studies also found that dogs diagnosed with hepatocellular carcinoma were also diagnosed with additional tumors. Although tumors that were found were often in the endocrine region and were benign, often found in golden retriever breeds, German Shepherd, Poodle, Scottish Terriers, and Rottweilers, dog breeds like Golden Retriever, who is prone to lymphoma and hemiosarcoma, are found to be prone to hepatocellular carcinoma. Dogs that are suspected of hepatocellular carcinoma may undergo diagnostics that will determine their condition and the status of the tumor. Differentiating hepatic benign tumors, malignant tumors, and hyperplasia are often difficult if without histologic examination. Unfortunately, liver cancer in dogs is often misdiagnosed with another type of cancer. Physical exams are often first done by veterinarians. They will recommend further testing if clinical signs may align or are susceptible. Diagnostics such as ultrasound may help determine the status of the tumor whether it's massive, diffuse, or nodular. Needle aspiration and biopsy are methods to further check the histology of the tumor. This can help determine if the tumor is malignant or benign. Treatment of carcinoid cancer in dogs After veterinarians examine the dog for hepatocellular carcinoma or similar liver cancers, they will more likely recommend combinations of treatments to improve the dog's health and prevent further regrowth and metastasizing. The following can be one of the treatments the veterinarian may suggest. Firstly, surgery can be performed with massive hepatocellular carcinoma. Since the area is usually isolated, large mass may be removed from the tumor and the surrounding area to shear completely removing the carcinoma. Sadly, diffuse and nodular hepatocellular carcinomas are not recommended for surgery. Performing a liver lobectomy may include techniques such as bipolar vessel sealing devices, surgical stapling, finger fracture, mass ligation, and mattress suture. Vets will perform the best procedure possible, depending on the condition of the dog. Secondly, chemotherapy is an option to control the growth of the tumor in the surrounding organs where the tumor has grown. This can help slow down malignant tumors that have been removed to regrow. Thirdly, radiation therapy is used for local tumors that have not undergone metastases. This also helps relieve pain in dogs with cancer. Radiation therapy can be found almost in veterinarian hospitals only. Lastly, immunotherapy includes using monoclonal antibodies, interferon, and other stimulants that can help the immune system to respond better in the recovery of the dog. It's best to follow through with the treatment provided by the veterinarian to see efficient and desirable improvement of the dog's condition. Liver cancer in dogs may be lower in cases of metastasizing, but it is not possible. Its symptoms are often late to appear, so owners should address them immediately with their veterinarian. Hepatocellular carcinoma pragos may also depend on treatment and recovery regarding the dog's response to it as well. Owners should follow the treatment, medication, and precautions the veterinarians prescribe. Sadly, 
There are cases of hepatocellular cancer in dogs that have been diagnosed late or in a certain time. In this stage, treatment may be infeasible. Veterinarians may help owners discern options for treatment to prolong life or euthanization to cease the agony the dog is experiencing. I hope you found this video helpful. It's my pleasure if you were helped a little at least. If you have anything to query for, please comment us below. Thank you for watching this video.